हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर इज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड टूडे वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो विच इज आई एफ आर एस नाइन हेच अकाउंटिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट स्वैप्स यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट आई एम कैरिंग अ कैलकुलेटर इन माई हैंड बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन विच वी नीड टू डू एंड दिस वीडियो इज सप्ली रफली टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई एम वेरी प्लीज टू शेयर दैट ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी इज डूइंग वेरी गुड एंड वी नाउ बीन वैल्यूडेड फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन डॉलर बाय वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट अक्रॉस द ग्लो टूडे इज अगेन अ ग्रेट ग्रेट डे फॉर अस एंड टूडे वी ज्वाइन द बेस्ट नॉट द बेस्ट इनफैक्ट द लार्जेस्ट वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ द ग्लो विच इज गस्ट विद दिस अवर प्रेजेंस ऑन द वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट हैज बीन ग्रोन टू टू विच इज एंजलिस्ट एंड गस्ट होपफुली ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विच इज प्रोबेबली बाई एंड ऑफ अप्रेल we would be able to present ourselves on the another platform of a venture capitalist and with this our presence on the vc and the crowd funding platform would grow and our endeavor is very simple by the time we would uh, end up the first year of the company which is 16th of 14th of july 2016 we would be able to have presence in almost all best platforms which we do have right now so this endeavor is growing now this topic which is uh, hedge accounting of an interest rate swap this seems very very pertinent topic because there are many companies outside india those who have an exposure in the interest rate swap of course in india also you have lot of companies those who have an exposure in the interest rate swap but unfortunately the fact is that uh, unfortunately the fact is that you know uh, the majority of these swaps are not hedged appropriately because that fact we need to appreciate that corporate treasurer do not know much about much about these swap neither the bankers are uh, neither the bankers are telling them or sometimes the both because of this majority of the swaps has not been completely hedged another case why this video has not been very much relevant for indian companies is that majority of the indian companies are not on the ifrs 9 like i know that lot of uh, indian companies those who are preparing themselves for uh, indas which is uh, which is going to replace the indian gap which is nothing but the copy of ifrs that we need to appreciate some small minor changes are there but indas is overall a copy of the of uh, the ifrs so this video is not very much interest for indian companies first they don't have an exposure secondly uh, they don't have uh, a reporting in ifrs very few companies in india we have those who have exposure in not only having exposure in ifrs but also having an exposure in uh, but also are reporting in ifrs so for them that matters now here uh, just to give you a small summarization we have a company to whom we are calculating irs is google india there is no one who is watching this video who do not know about google india right we have assuming a notion of 1 billion dollar the rate which has been agreed is is uh, l plus 120 basis point the tenor is 10 years the repricing is 3 months we deliberately taking repricing of 3 months if we want we could have take for 1 uh, year or we could have take for 6 uh, months also we could have take for 1 year also but here we deliberately creating the repricing risk the lender is jp morgan chase us and the sub account is jp morgan chase india majority of the people must have watched our earlier video so they would they, they should be having a little idea about our uh, to how the swaps are so basically uh, you know uh, if i interest rate swap is divided into three parts one is the principal only swap one is the coupon only swap one is the cross currency interest rate swap principal only swap is a section when you are taking a position on your principal while coupon only swap is a is a you know is a part when you are taking a position on the coupon and the cross currency interest rate swap is when you are taking an uh, that when which is both principal only swap plus coupon only swap we should understand that uh, coupon only swap is a key right now uh, now comes the hedge accounting although there are variety of technical definition we have in the media when it comes to hedge accounting predominantly for me hedge accounting is nothing but but it's a technique through which you able to mitigate the impact of uh, the fx volatility from pnl to balance sheet and specifically speaking in balance sheet to oci oci stands for other comprehensive income which is a part of equity although there are various other flows which are going in the oci like gratuity valuation which is going in oci translation reserves in going in oci foreign exchange reserves in in, in go, uh, foreign exchange valuations in going in oci which is mark to market and variety of others but here we are not talking about that here we are talking about the uh, interest rate swaps hedging of inter, uh, hedge accounting of interest rate swap we need to appreciate that uh, uh, there is a wide difference of opinion which we have 
when it comes to the interest rate uh, the, the hedge counting of interest rate uh, swaps basically uh, in my personal opinion and that is my personal opinion that and uh, that has been vetted number of times by a lot of people outside in India that interest rate swap that basically first of all we need to understand what are the three ways of hedging we can do the three ways of hedging which we can do is coupon uh, is sorry is cash flow hedging fair value hedging and net investment hedging what is cash flow hedging cash flow hedging is the hedging of the receivable which you are doing basically the hedging of your cash flow it is not specifically receivable it could be your payable also sometimes it is both like there are companies like reliance reliance who are not doing netting they are companies like uh, i know i don't want to mention it right right they are doing hedging uh, they are doing netting there are companies who are taking independent positions we have one software company in india who is taking independent position of payables and who is taking independent position of receivables right so similarly in that respect we need to appreciate that you know uh, hedging can be of three types coupon only or cash cash flow hedging fair value hedging and net investment hedging now this is how the scene would be and this is how the scene which it should be now it is a 1 billion dollar of a funding which is coming how it is here is chase who is lending 1 billion in the form of assuming ecb external commercial borrowing to google india and google india uh, and the party which is involved the local remitter party which is involved which is their sister concern which is chase india and all the reporting to the rbi which is happening by, which, which is happening happening to chase india happening by chase india to rbi right now this google india wanted to hedge this they are very much near they're not sure what is going to be happen and take the current position which is the scene when usd inr is trading at 6470 if i want i can deliberately take it to 65 also i can take it to 68 also because this is a zero sum game but still for the sake of simplicity assume that this is 6440 for the sake of simplicity assume this is this is 6440 now google india would first create a principal only swap pos which is principal only swap whereby they will deliver 1 billion dollar to chase india and chase india would be giving at from at the of course this is a zero sum game assuming this is uh, they are deciding the current spot rate which is 6470 so chase india will be giving them 6470 cr crores to google india and google india would be utilizing this in terms of the working capital requirement what all new projects they are coming up with and so on and so forth now the hedge accounting of that would be as similar as we have a hedge accounting of a cash flow hedge because this is a cash flow hedge you hedged your cash flow in this what would happen you would be taking a mark to market position every month so you have a pos rate at 6470 that pos mark to market position you would be taking uh, yeah, because pos is nothing but it is a it is a sort of a forward contract it is a sort of a forward contract now how you are going to take the mark to market that i will tell you since when they paid that google is supposed to oblige to chase india because of course after all chase india is taking a risk in 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 in, in his books so google would be paying the pos rate to chase india and pos rate would be uh, nothing but uh, yeah pos rate is nothing but say they are doing one year which is a one year forward divided by pos rate sitting today one year is 2.5 rupees and uh, pos rate is taking 6470 so if we go with that in that sense it would be 250 divided by 6470 which is approximately 3.86%. So this 3.86% into 6470 which is 6470 crores which is roughly roughly 250 crores would come in the debit side of the Google India every month sorry every year. Ah, two fifty crore divided by twelve, which is approximately twenty crore rupees, twenty one something, twenty point eight, twenty one some twenty point eight precisely. This would come as a debit side of the every month. Now this has been fixed. If within these ten years, 
INR will go to 79, it will go to 78, it will go to 59, it can touch to 42, wherever it will go, Google India will have no issue. Because Google India is going to pay 250 crore every month. So how would they do how they would be doing the hedge accounting of that? The hedge accounting, now this is treated because there is no mark to market of this would happen. So that is why I'm doing cross. No mark to market to be taken because this has already been hedged. No mark to market should be taken, but yes, one mark to market which would be coming and which would be real, to be honest, uh, sorry, notional, at the end of 10 years, Google India would be returning 6470 crore to Chase India. And assuming at that time the INR is trading at 68, take an example. This is the payable in the books of Google India. This is the payable in the books of Google India. It means had Google India not hatched that, they would have been in a big mess, but they hatched that. So this difference, which is 330 crores, 6800 minus, it should come in the credit side of the PNL. Or take it vice versa. After 10 years, INR was trading at say 50. In that sense, roughly 1470 crore would come in the debit side of the PNL. Because Google India hatched at uh, 6470 but it turned out to be 50 so 40 70 crore would be come in the debit side of the pnr this would be the hedge accounting no monthly mark to market requirement is there no mark to market to be taken in the principal only swap here comes the next topic which is coupon only swap in coupon only swap what you would be doing every month google is paying l plus 122 chase US, not Chase India, Chase US. They are concerned about L because L is swinging and especially, take an example, yesterday night, Donald Trump has given a statement in some conference in US that Donald has already reached his peak. And what happened, he just said that and within two minutes, Japanese yen has been uh, appreciated by more than two big figures. So right now it is trading at 109. So this is the scene. And the USDX has fallen by, if I'm not wrong, 0.25% or 0.5%, something like that. Plus, he, he is very hawkish in nature. He wanted to increase the, the hikes by Federal Reserve. He wanted to taper the, the balance sheets of the Fed. Now, he wanted to taper to $4.5 trillion. This is what he's planning to do right now. In that regard, let me hedge that. So, what I would be doing, I if I cancel this L, my scene is done. Now, I would be cancelling during USD swap rate. So I would be taking a USD swap rate, which currently 10 years is trading at 2.6% if I'm not wrong. And 2.6% plus 1.2%, which is this, total is 3.8%, which is fixed. But when it comes to hedge accounting, there is a contention. The contention is that every month, 1 billion dollar into 3.8 percent which is 38 million dollars would come in the debit side of the PNL as an interest but the issue is the issue here is that Google India functional currency is in INR not in dollars although we know that Google is having a strong exports so if Google is able to mitigate able to pay this from their exports then it is fine. If Google not been able to mitigate this from the exports, then Google need to buy dollars. And again, this will enter into the cash flow hedging. This will enter into the cash flow hedging. And there is an impact of revaluation also that will come in, in your books. So if Google would be pay from the exports, this is fine. If not, then there is an impact of revaluation and cash flow hedging that will come in the books. As regards this, uh, you know, this, uh, the fixing of, fixing of this is concerned, this is predominantly known as fair value hedging. So interest rate swap is nothing but divided into two parts, where one part principal only swap is majority of the coupon, is majority is cash flow hedging. Coupon only swap is both, which is cash flow and fair value. If, as in Google, you would be able to from your export, it is very good. But if you not been able to pay from your export, then this would create a revaluation impact in your book. And since it is going to be create the revaluation impact in their books, we need to hedge this using fair value. Because what is fair value? 
फेयर वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट हेज ऑफ ऑल असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज विच आर क्रिएटिंग अ रिवैल्यूएशन इंपैक्ट इन योर बुक एंड व्हाट इज दिस रिवैल्यूएशन इंपैक्ट दिस इज दिस इन एनी केस माय बुक्स इज इन आईएनआर एंड माय फॉरेन करेंसी एंड माय इंटरेस्ट पेबल इज इज इन डॉलर्स सो रिवैल्यूएशन इंपैक्ट इज बाउंड टू कम हेंस फॉर इन एन इंटरेस्ट रेट स्वैप प्रिंसिपल ओनली इज ऑलवेज कूप ऑलवेज अ कैश फ्लो हेजिंग एंड कूपन ओनली स्वैप इज अ इज अ फेयर वैल्यू हेजिंग total if we add this which is cross currency swap it is nothing but the sum of cash flow hedging plus fair value hedging this is what it is this is how the hedge accounting has to be performed in ifrs 9 in case you have interest rate swap of course there are variety of interest rate swaps we have we have uh, total turn swap we have overnight index swap we have accreting swap we have libor swap you have variety kind of interest rate swap this is simplest example we have taken if we have the deepest example then we need to look in that and we we have we need to do accordingly thank you and have a wonderful time you are always welcome to contact us our contact details is here www.trajiconsulting.in our mobile is 9892429780 and my skype id is rahul5327 my email is rahul.magan@trajiconsulting.in before winding up we are pleased to share that you can chase us now anywhere whether it is a linkedin it's a youtube it's a twitter and it is anything you can chase us on 17th april we are launching our second youtube channel to whom we titled as directional insights which would be covering the motivational leaderships and startup valuation videos thank you and have a wonderful time